What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire to the War. Let's play as Spain. And in the first episode we took uh, the city, the capital of Portugal, and kicked them out of existence. And we've also uh, managed to repel a British attack on Florida. Um, but we are extremely budget limited at the moment and it's really the uh, Savoy fleet that's really helping protect our port um, from being overrun and so we are very slowly building up our economy but what we want to do is push across the push across the Strait of Gibraltar and hit the uh, Moroccans but what we need to do we need to make sure we do is uh, we are suitably equipped so I think we need to wait until we get canister shot then we could push because we've got a smaller force but we've got a a force that's got yeah <laughs> they've they didn't okay they didn't actually uh push that time but that's okay i think we could probably sally no poland i don't want to be involved in your wars we can probably sally over in uh florida they've got lots of cavalry but we've got square formation bayonets and pikes so they will they can be fairly easily repulsed especially because well they know that they're uh, infantry force is weak and that's why they won't push so because we know that that's something we can quite easily deal with hmm. Barbary State ships just getting chewed up again chomp 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 Yep, can't do anything about the pirates at this stage. I want to upgrade... So we're upgrading one school. Could upgrade the other. Should probably just bite the bullet and do it, really. Um, Syracuse has been built. Taranto's growing, which will probably be a, a military shipyard. We need to be careful about Rome. Um, but over in the Americas, because we should also have some garrison troops. I think it looks like we've only got some armed citizenry this time, which is pretty poor. But if we sally, their infantry force is very, very weak. And granted, ours isn't that much better. Um, but I think it's worth doing. Fundamentally, we're going to have to sooner or later, so we can either wait and do it when our force is depleted, or we do it now. <laughs> what I can do is I can have some troops manning artillery up behind the wall as well. Okay, so... Let's say I want... Okay, let's put a gun team down low let's put well, let's put two infantry units on one side infantry unit on the other side two militia on the right file of calm citizenry up on the top put our pikemen behind the behind our militia to try and entice them to go this way. Put our frontiersmen up here on, behind some guns as well. That leaves us with more musketmen and some provincial cavalry. There we go. So now we also have the extra fire support from the walls. So attack the fourth light horse. Yeah, their infantry is weak. And that's the main concern. They got a lot of pikes, but then again, they got they got a lot of cavalry, but then again, pikemen are a thing. So they're charging. So pikemen make ready. Oh, 
No, no pike wall, because you're going to face the wrong way. Yeah, they might get the initial charge off, but my pikemen are going to have something to say about this engagement. There they go. So my these militiamen are going to go down. But all they are is... Fundamentally, they are um, road stops. They are um, speed bumps. So they take, they take the charge of the cavalry so that my pikemen have a better chance at withstanding. So you guys run inside the square. See, so they, their charge has been halted in front of my pikemen. Those, yeah, those militiamen were, well, they got, they got pounded to hell, so it's understandable they were going to go. Same with these militia, really. Like I said, they've been, do they've been um, speed bumps for my, a lot of my, um, for quite a few cavalry units now, really. So you guys are going to pop up and engage. Still hidden. Deploy you guys into square, ready to be pulled back. As the Pokemon is starting to get up, not get upset, but the balance of power was starting to tip. There we go. If I get these guys to take positions here, they can engage the cavalry that's trying to get around the flank. There we go. Now you men form ranks to engage the militia. Get my pikes over on the other flank. And everyone get ready to engage their infantry line. Excellent shot, sir. There we go, so now it won't be so easy for the enemy to make their way in. So you, what I want to do is do a bit of a switcheroo. Auxiliary to face the infantry, to face the battle line. Infantry to fate form square there. To block their... Uh, Cavalry, you guys don't fire. Excellent shot. There we go, these guys are getting picked off by my... the artillery on the walls. I wonder if they're waiting for the infantry to get into position before beginning to engage potentially stretch the line out a little bit more and then let's keep my cavalry safe because I know they're going to get shot by one of the sides of the square if I don't be careful let's advance up my hidden musketman If I had square formation, that'd be perfect. Who's back there? Militia unit. Right, so you men charge the general. That looks like it's going to trigger them all to come in. Deploy my pikes.
pull you guys back. So my infantry unit. Stay in square. It's got my frontiersmen can also pick at them. So my pikemen are still holding on. Huzzah! Provincial cavalry, break out. Infantry also charge up to take position in the square, because now that's the enemy cavalry defeated. Charge of the 9th Regiment, you men hold still, hold fire. Huzzah! Okay, maybe run away now. You guys don't shoot. Okay, now you guys can open fire. Track towards the 13th Regiment. Okay, you men. Go this way, you guys face that way. Artillery continue to bombard all the way back here. Because we've got two units in defensive positions, which we need to go and dig out. Ooh. Let's not risk the general. And there we go. The 9th Regiment engage. The 10th. Now everyone march to face the enemies sat in the safety of the rear. So we're going to go knock out this unit, swing this way and go hit the militia. Now I'm going to quickly chop the recording and bring you guys back in a second. There we go. So they've all marshaled up into position. To be honest, I'm happy to play this bit at increased speed because this is very much just a, a mopping up exercise at the moment. Everyone just clearing up the last infantry unit, and then it's going to be push forward. Oh, they're getting all broken anyway. Great stuff. So that is Florida defended for another turn. Hopefully, that might be the end of it. Again, we have no cash, but we don't want to do anything because we want canister shot. Because we are going to be facing a lot of chaff. I mean, there's an argument to say, do we just get... Do we get uh, more... Oh, good. Good old Savoy. Do we just get more... Uh, cavalry to deal with them? But then again, they've got lots of camels, so it's not necessarily a good thing to have a, whole, a large fraction of your army being cavalry, because camels are just... Go through. Go straight through them. And then cause them to rout and bad things to happen. Really? That's right, Savoy. Gather your fleet. No, don't leave my port. How dare you leave me exposed. Ah, well. Barbary states are continuing their traditional pilgrimage to go get uh, destroyed as they sail far too close to ports with enemy ships inside. Good, another pirate's blockading the British fleet. 
In Port Royal, as they should, the swine. Ah, no, not us. Okay, so we've got canister shot. Don't go for grenades. Go for military syllabus. Port located, okay, Port of Pay, I know. Farmland land in Naples, but I would like to upgrade the industry buildings in Spain, really. Because Spain is growing the quickest. 12 turns to Bilbao, which is another port, which would be very good stuff. But I'm going to march over and engage Mohammed al Temiat. Temiat. Because so if I do that, we don't engage the garrison at the fort. Well, I thought that these guys would respond, but maybe not. Alright then, let's attack the first army. I was hoping the Morocco garrison would... Well, not the, not the true garrison, the grey units, but the golden units, the actual units that exist on the map. I thought they might march to the aid of uh, their comrades, but I suppose not. So our guns are going to trundle up to this high point here. We've got an infantry battle line. I've got my pikes providing cover. I'm going to have a fraction of my men march closer to the, to the rock face. Split our cavalry up. Oh my god. Very well. I don't want to march up too crazy because I do want them to push. Well, I want, the, I want them to uh, think they have to respond to us. So let's speed up time. So they've got... I mean, they are camel gunners, not desert mercenaries, so they are more likely to shoot. They do also have extra units hidden. That's another reason why I'm more inclined to let my guns march up, because as soon as we start firing, they'll realise they can't hold that position and they will have to uh, come towards us. Chatoon or Camel, camel Gunners. I'm not... Yeah, well their camels do concern me. As they should any normal person. Because Light Cavalry does not do well against camels. Where's my Tercio Pikemen? Let's have a look at them. I'm pretty sure they look pretty similar. Oh, they've they've got proper nice armor, not plate armor necessarily. Well, it is plate armor, but it's it's pretty cool. I like it compared to um, the Swedish, the Swiss knights. Okay, you guys get my artillery to push up to here. Tercio Pikemen, go off to the right. They are shuffling. Well, they're sure as hell going to shuffle once I start firing. Because we have to bear in mind is I do not have very much money. So let's get into position. Unlimba! See, now they're doing stuff. The light infantry are going to shoot, but most of, them, most of their shots are going to hit the uh, ground. See, now they're pushing. Although it looks like they are... They... Broken, which is a bit odd. But 
but we do know that the guns will well, they unlimbered in a bit of a funny position but let's focus our guns on the enemy camels could we knock them out then we're in pretty good shape Our infantry, the Desert Warriors, are going to be. They're going to experience some hardship at the hand of our infantry. So let's re pick, reallocate our targets to make sure they do work. There we go, the Amazons are close, they've snuck in. See my light infantry up on the hill, managed to get some shots off. Walk the flanks in a bit. It's nicer than to walk into close range. And if they charge them, things won't get better either. Yeah, one camel unit is broken. Bring it down, the pikemen! Cavalry need to roam. It'd be nice to try and... Yeah, I can try. I no, no, I was aware that they were charging, that's why I got my pikemen to just immediately charge. Get all my guns to start focusing on General's bodyguard and Amazon's in the centre. Okay, you guys fall back. All my guns focus on those camel gunners. You guys Smash into them. There we go, bring these pikemen across. Good, chase down the camel gunners. So the general's involved. Damn right, I want to continue. Cease fire. So it's cease fire, damn it. Can you guys avoid them and come after these chaps? So it's worthwhile chasing them down because we do still need to beat Morocco. So killing these troops while they're exposed is a good thing to do. There we go. Delicious. Okay, now these are the last last troops remaining, which looks like they it looks like they must have been hidden and then crept up behind our line. It's a bit of a weird direction for them to have run but there we are although they do run pretty weird directions once the cavalry starts charging they are going to make it though but over the hill the silhouettes of the cavalry are going to show up but there they go so close but there you go that was a nice victory that did significant significant damage to their troops with not too many losses on our side and it means that we can fairly reliably go loop, loop. so let's go 
take out their garrison. So I expect this is going to be a bit of a bit of a pain to hold for a short period of time. Um, it feels like uh, the Moroccans are not going to take too kindly to a bunch of um, Catholic Spaniards coming in and being like, you know all this stuff that you used to do? You know, the whole being in charge thing. That's our guys now. Okay, so... A lovely raised position up on the hill. Mass my cavalry on the right. So let's get my the core of my infantry is going to push through the town with some pike support. With some pike support. Then a combined militia Irish brigade force is going to push around the right with the other the other um, uh, pike unit. So you guys push around, get, get the cavalry going, get the pikemen going. We do have artillery to worry about. So my other, my flanking unit needs to run as well. Yeah, desert Warriors, Desert Warriors. Fire like on Poplars, Desert Warriors. So the, the, the first shots are going to rain down on my troops in the centre. Get running. Can get a regiment of horse to fight the Amazons. Keep my other cavalry moving. Or do I send two round the left to fight Desert Warriors? Two up the centre into the town. Another unit like so. Okay, get you guys away. Nope, you were going to engage, but I don't want you to. All my guns focus on that Camel Nomad unit. As they are active, my pikes might fall to gunfire, which would be unfortunate. Yeah. Well, they've routed for now. It doesn't, it's not necessarily a permanent state of affairs. Push up. So all my gunners focus on those camel nomads, those my pikes. We move forward to scare them off. charge the desert warriors get the cavalry to mass on this flank get you guys to form a square get you guys to run run around all this stuff that's happening
Ooh, their regiment of Disavi got smashed by the desert infantry. Let's ram home our advantage on this flank. Form square. Ooh, that's not great. Make sure you get those camels shattered. So if you guys stay in, well, you guys, ooh, you guys try charge. Regiment of foot. Where's my general? Let's get him out of there. You guys charge the pikes. That infantry unit may yet come back. All my guns focus on that unit of camel nomads. There could be... There could be camel implications at play here. There are, there are mortar complications at play. Pikemen are fighting the camel nomads. So it says they're winning decisively, but are they? have enough. Let's form that infantry unit into squares. That infantry unit has enough. There we go. So my infantry are pouring pouring fire into the town. So you guys are formed square so you probably will see those camels off. Like it. As long as you guys hold the square, those camel nomads are done. These guys are likely going to be done. Oh, excellent shot, sir. More excellent shots. Although... Irish Brigade... Form square, and cavalry run away. So as long as you hold square, you will beat those camel nomads. So they've been routed. I don't want to, I don't want to um, engage these guys, but I want my light infantry to get into a good position to shoot them. You men combine, I think, I think the, I think the uh, armed populace are on their way. They've broken, so let's run you guys up here. Reinforcements are here. Yeah, there we go. My light infantry moved them onto the flank to engage the camel nomads. So let's get the pikemen behind the lines. Let's get 
these men still in a good position. There we go, you men combine down there. Strange, I'm so used to seeing the Spanish flags being the bad guys. I see them and go, <gasps> and they go, no, they're my guys. It's fine, don't worry. So, yeah, they. they the armed populace immediately balanced to just go face my reinforcing general unit. So let's get my regiment of horse in. He's got something to say to you fellas. Charge this general into Firelock Arm Populus. So let's allow these guys to keep shooting until the very last minute to try to keep their morale state poor. Ceasefire. They've broken anyway. You guys carry on shooting. There we go. Ah, oh, you guys oh, I got massacred on a set of spikes. Whew, that was dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy towards the end. And we took a lot of casualties, but thankfully we at least took the city. I mean, that's not going to mean a lot to them. But we took it because they're going to sit there and go, well, we didn't want you to. So I've only got 27 cash. They're going to be mighty upset. Might even be worth knocking down this. Well, it would will be worth knocking down that. To try and exempt them from tax. But I fear it's not going to matter. We're going to have a few turns of uh, pirates or rebels. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Spain. Cheers everyone.